You know it, I'm just reminding you, and myself. And another thing, we have to stay away from, there's a lot of good that can be accomplished with a lot of the social media tools that are out there. So I don't want to just speak generally, I want to give you something tangible to work on. You know, we get taken away with a lot of the technological advances, and Facebook is one of them. Millions of people got it, and we're on there chatting away. We're chatting away, but a lot of times we're chatting away with useless chit-chatter, jibber-jatter. And you know what? Is the angel on the right? Is he writing the good deeds? What are we doing? Are we refraining from things that we should be refraining from? Are we getting into, you know what? It starts off with the innocent, hello, how are you? You expose yourself. And now what happens? Now you end up talking to the opposite gender without your parents' permission, the women especially, strike a pose. And now everybody's like, hey, you're looking so fine there, honey. And what happens? Now your head gets a little big. And now what happens? You're full of yourself. And what happens? Now it's harder to disattach from this. You're liking the attention. But is this pleasing to Allah? Is the attention of all the boys out there more pleasing than the attention of Allah? Same thing for the young men out there. You're posting all the pictures, maybe of women that shouldn't be on your page. You. Exposing yourself and your body, your aura. You're exposing your body and you're putting things out there that, wow, we can't believe as Muslims that these things are up on your accounts, man. You need to chill. We need to refrain. We are Muslims. Sisters, brothers, please, now is the time. Get away from the useless jibber jatter, chit chatter. Don't expose yourselves out there. The wolves are on the hunt and they're looking to get those good sisters. They're out there. And same thing for the brothers. Don't get caught off guard. You see something, it's like an arrow through the heart. And now your iman, what, does it increase? No, it decreases. And you're looking, for, looking at things you shouldn't be looking at. You should be lowering the gaze. You should be staying away from these things. But you know what, we get tricked, we get trapped because Shaitan's the pimp, he's the biggest pimp and he's looking to pimp us. So please, now is the time to refrain from all the evil things. And that's the reminder that I want to remind myself and my brothers and sisters.